So guys, let's see um, how to solve wind problem, especially one type of wind problem. That kind of problem where you have thus, heading and wind vector. And they're going to ask you ground speed and drift. So let's try a typical um, e typical exercise you should you could face during uh, sitting your uh, ATPL exam. Let's say like this. Thus you can 250 knots. Then we have heading. In this case, we have two heading, so we don't we don't have to care about variation. So 0 to 9 degree. Then we have the wind vector. So that is 35 degree and 45 knots. And then they are going to ask you ground speed and drift. Here we go. In my experience, um, some instructor will tell you that this problem can be easily solved using this kind of instruments. They are pretty powerful instruments, but in my opinion, you have to know how to use this, but it's not enough. It's not enough because sometimes, EASA, during this kind of exam ask you and uh, let's say that possible answer are very close one to each other so maybe there is just one degree of difference and uh, you have to choose the correct one so sometimes this is not enough and I really recommend you to practice this kind of exercise and solve this kind of exercise using trigonometry in this kind of exercise so when you are, we are heading through with wind vector and thus and they're going to ask you the ground speed and the drift I will expand you a formula that is going to help you a lot so let's start ground speed this is the first value we're going to get now so we need a square root of ever of all the formula we're going to write down. So now we take the task that as we said before is 250 knots square. Then we take the the strength of the wind vector that is 45 knots, and also in this case is square. Then we have to add two plus. Uh, multiplication, sorry, of 250 that I have multiplied for the strength of our wind vector, that is 45, and then we have the last multiplication is cosine of, be careful to this passage because we have to take our heading that is 29 degree and our the, the degree of our wind vector that is 35 degree and we're going so we have to subtract 35 and 29 and we'll get 66 degree now that we have 6 degree we take 180 degree minus the result of this subtraction that is six degree and we get one seven four degree so this number we have to take the cosine so cosine of one seventy four okay now this is the formula we are going to use to solve this problem and let's see how it comes so ground speed let's try so calculator this is the calculator I used during all my exam and I have to say it's pretty good and uh, it was really helpful to solve uh, sitting my exams. Let's start. So, six two five zero zero plus we get two 
plus and now you sign 174 for so minus 2 2 3 7 6 comma 7 4 3 6 so last operation we add everything and then we made we made the square root of this result so 60 plus 2 minus 2 3 7 6 point 7 4 3 6 okay and now we take the result uh, the square root of this result here we go now we got the uh, ground speed. So the ground speed is 205.2998 knots. So this is going to be the ground speed in this situation we are going to have. Now, but this is not enough. This is the first part of the problem. Now we have to face the drift problem. Drift problem it's easier. So in order to get a drift, the operation is this one. So drift and the arc sign of this operation top we're going to take the sign of the number we got so just to remember we got 174 174 just taking our degree of the wind vector 35 then we we took 29 we subtract the value, we got 6, and then we, uh, we took 180, this is a fixed value, it's always this one we have to take, minus 6. So, and the result was 174. So, this time we're going to get the sign of 174. During ground speed we were taking out the cosine. Then, the multiplication of the strength of our wind vector, this is 45, and at the bottom we take the ground speed we got just a few seconds before, that is 205.2998. And let's see, so sine 174 plus 45. Then we got two zero five. Okay, so arc sine of zero point zero two two nine, and the final result is going to be. Let's see. 0.0229. Here we go. We got. We have got a drift. Okay. Now let's see if uh, now we got the result, and then we have to see if it's left or right. So here we go. Now we know that our heading is going to be 29. So 29 is more or less like this. And our wind vector is 35. So more or less is like this. So if our true heading is this one and the can and the wind is coming from our right side, the drift will be left because the our aircraft is going to move to the left because of the wind. So, in this case, it is left. And now we have finally found out all the mm, value the question was asking us. We know that ground speed is 200.05 knots, and uh, our drift.
it's one degree comma one three one two two so let's say left so let's say one left okay using this formula you can solve all these kind of uh, problems in a very precise way and uh, let's say fast obviously we have to you have to practice m a lot because during the vision uh, the, um, the as exam you're going to have two hours and 60 problems not all the problems are so easy so let's say this is all for this is all for this video I hope you enjoy it and uh, please if you like this sub subscribe my channel make like just below and uh, uh, I will upload one video each week um, facing different problem of general navigation, flight planning or if you have special requests just write it down in the comment. Okay, thank you. See you.